Here in the Netherlands, Dr. Waldinger tells of an even stranger condition. A patient was referred to me with a rather strange complaint. He told me um, that he got ill after an ejaculation. In 2002, Dr. Waldinger published his observations. He called it post-orgasmic illness syndrome, or POIS. Michael is a working professional, and he has suffered with this condition since his teens. Oh, within about three to six hours, I start to get really teary eyes. Oh, my concentration just gets really poor, and I just energetically, I'm really low. Incredibly, these symptoms can last up to a week. Well, I have to plan before sex. Like, what will I be doing in the ensuing days, particularly the first three days? And if I know something critical is coming up where I have to be on my game, no sex is the short answer. Michael has a small window of opportunity to have sex on Friday night. That way he can spend the rest of the weekend recovering. So I guess there's no room for spontaneity. Oh, I'd really love to be able to be spontaneous about sex. Have a quickie in the morning before I work with my partner because we both felt like it and I can't do that. If I have sex several times, then I can guarantee that I'll have a longer period before I start to feel even keeled again. So... You try and keep it at one. More or less. I'm not an accountant in bed, but I'm a realist. Professor Waldinger believes that this is a physical problem and he's come up with a theory that's even more bizarre than the condition itself. He believes these men are allergic to their own semen. I got the idea because the reaction occurred rather immediately after ejaculation and that made me think it might be some uh, immunological thing because immunological reactions occur very uh, quickly within seconds, within a minute. By monitoring his patient's sexual symptoms, Professor Waldinger noticed that these men would only get sick if they ejaculated. I thought as long as the semen is in the testis, nothing happens. But as soon as it is moving to the urethra, and then you get such an explosion of, of symptoms, like feeling ill, perspiration, concentration disturbances, and so on. We think in the testis there is a sort of membrane that protects the semen from influence from outside. But that is an hypothesis, and we have to investigate it. In a small pilot study, Professor Waldinger found that over 88% of men with post-orgasmic illness syndrome were positive to an allergy test against their own semen. Victor is a Spanish student who suffers from post-orgasmic illness syndrome. When I began to experience my symptoms, I thought that I could be like depressed, but they fade away, so it, it just makes no sense. Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. Waldinger. Welcome. Today, he's come to this clinic in The Hague to investigate whether he is allergic to his own semen. Here it is for the specimen. For this, Victor needs to produce that all-important sample. Let's see again. Dr. Marcus Mayanardi is the allergist performing the skin prick test. You are allergic to uh, the, the, your own sperm. So what I've got here is diluted sperm. So I'm going to put this here and now you'll feel a little sting. Victor's semen sample is diluted out to prevent him from having a severe anaphylactic reaction. 
If Victor turns out to be positive for this result, he may choose the option of treatment, which is being injected with very dilute amounts of his own semen over a long period of time in the hope that he'll build up a tolerance to it. The treatment is called hyposensitization. It's much like treating allergies against nuts or bee venom. But in this case, it involves a gruelling schedule of injections containing their own semen. These men have to masturbate every two weeks when going to the allergist. And that makes them ill, particularly in the beginning. So it's quite a commitment for the patient to uh, do this hyposensitization treatment. Hopefully, we will find other solutions, but we can only do that when more research uh, will be done on this disorder. It's a cruel irony that these men have to get sick before they get better. But Professor Waldinger says in some cases, the symptoms diminish by 90%. You can feel yourself here. It's been 20 minutes, yeah. and Victor's Red results are in. You will see the redness here. You should only also feel the little branches here in the skin. That's an allergic reaction on your own semen. How does that make you feel? I'm feeling happy because I know that I have this opportunity to prove that I am allergic and knowing that I, in fact, I have this condition. So for me, it's perfect. Now, you may be wondering why Victor is not feeling unwell after producing his semen sample. About a year ago, he found an internet forum where men from all over the world would discuss the same illness. Someone online suggested he take niacin, a type of vitamin B. He did so one hour before orgasm and miraculously, he didn't get sick. It just uh, it has improved my life in all sense. I, I think I'm more confident about everything, enjoy life, you know. But if Victor doesn't take the niacin, his flu-like symptoms return. And that's why Dr. Waldinger warns this is not a permanent fix. We can't cure it, we can diminish the symptoms, but still there is no cure, and that's why more research should be done. When I first began researching this story, I was shocked at how little doctors actually knew about this condition. And I suppose that shedding light on these illnesses can only help. And it seems it already has. Michael, our poi sufferer, decided to try niacin after hearing about Victor's success, and he says it's changed his life. So it just goes to show that if you continue to explore, you may just find what lies beneath orgasm and the trouble with sex.